don't come to Pell City and try and steal flowers because <laughs> there's mean people like myself that's going to hunt you down. A mission Carolyn Pruitt took seriously after her family discovered flowers missing from the graves of her mother and father-in-law. After a drive around town, Pruitt called her sister-in-law, Beverly Mulvihill. Carolyn actually spotted the flowers. Spotted a woman selling their stolen flowers. Of course, she was not happy. She wanted to know if we were going to buy those flowers. I said, no, ma'am. We are not buying these flowers, these are mine. The sisters-in-law say more people shared similar experiences of missing flowers. Sure enough, they're mine because um, I made them and I have pictures on my phone that prove they're mine. Um, so uh, the police came and we filed a report. Pell City Police arrested Bernadette Clark, charged with receiving stolen property. Police say Clark had flower arrangements stolen from three counties. If you need help, with something financially or whatever your reasoning is behind it, there's ways of getting help without stealing from the dead. This family says they'll still put out flowers even after they were stolen, but to anyone who gets any ideas, this family has a message. The next person that thinks about it may think a little bit harder before they try to do it. Families showing everyone their graveside flowers are not for sale. In Pell City, Mary O'Connell, WVTM 13.